as you know, Orange email is closing soon. When it does, you won't be able to access your emails. So it's a good idea to import everything you want to keep into your new email inbox. In this video, we'll show you how to do this with Gmail. Before you do this, you'll need to sign up for a Gmail account. It takes minutes and gives you an advanced free email account with massive storage. An important point before we start. Make sure you import your orange emails plenty of time before the closure, as the import can take up to two days. If you have any emails in folders that you wish to import, you will need to move them into your inbox so they can be included in the transfer. OK, let's get started. Log into your Gmail account, then click the COG logo in the top right hand corner. On the drop down menu, select Settings. In the Settings box, click Accounts and Import, and then go down to Import Mail and Contacts. Now we're ready to start importing. You'll be asked at this step to sign into your other email account. Enter your orange email address, then hit continue. Next, enter the password for your orange email account. At this stage, you might need to enter your POP server details. Don't worry, that's less complicated than it sounds. In the POP username field, write the bit after the at sign in your orange email address. For example, if your email address is john at johnsmith9.orangehome.co.uk, then you should type in johnsmith9.orangehome.co.uk. And in the POP server box, enter pop orangehome.co.uk. Now it's time to start importing. Select everything you want to import and hit Start Import. Then click OK to start importing your emails. Importing can take up to two days depending on how much mail you're moving, so don't panic if you don't see your old emails straight away. When you do see them, they will appear in your Gmail inbox in date order, so you can keep them for as long as you like. Remember, you need to import everything you want to save at least two days before Orange Gmail closes, otherwise you will lose them. You can find out more at ee.co.uk forward slash email help.